So let's first take a look at this new room in here, the war room. So we got a couple of people working on the, the terminals here, probably analysts. So let's take a look at this, this war terminal. War assets. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you have accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effective these assets will perform. would affect in multiplayer. And what it's saying is, if you... hundred percent the readiness rating down there will actually decrease because of how you've taken care of the rest of the galaxy but they actually lowered it and you can see it's actually not that much and trust me by the time i get towards the end and i do all the different quests and everything the amount of military strength i have will be just so huge it like well there's like no need for the galactus the galactic readiness thing to to uh to mess around with that so let's look at what we have for alliance the Engineering Corps, 130. Marine Division, 100. The First Fleet, 65. Third Fleet, 65. N7 Special Ops Team. That's actually from a character I got in multiplayer, where I got him up to level 20, and I was able to import him to this so I can get more war assets points. So the multiplayer does actually, you can see it does, definitely does affect the other, um, the single player. The fifth fleet, 65 points. Diana Aller, she's five points. She actually has a room here on the, on the Normandy. You'll see. So, of course, the Normandy's 100 points. Mineral resources. What's the reporter? I can, I'll never be able to pronounce her name, even though she says it. <laughs> okay, so this is the war room. Let's go check some of these other rooms here. Wait, what the? What's this? Model Alliance shuttle? Wait a minute. What's a model doing here? Why isn't it in my cabin? <gasps> Garrus! That prankster! Garrus must have gone around hiding all my models in different rooms. Come on, Sarah. If Thestia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you could be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Garrus! Commander? The Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. And that is one of those little mini side quests that actually is on a multiplayer map. That's why it's called an N7 mission. So why don't we talk to this specialist trainer? Commander? Who is going to be replacing Kelly recruit. Chambers. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. Huh. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. I could have helped. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. Huh. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a scission. A toothbrush? Or it uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. Wow. It costs 6,000 grit. Wow, that is some toothbrush. Okay. Yeah. You're on your own with that. <laughs> In He's like, yeah, you don't I forget appreciate it. You giving me the chance to stay. <laughs> that so was funny. Anything else? It's like, no way, I ain't paying for a six thousand credit toothbrush. You're on your own with that one. <laughs> so how come you joined the military? How'd you end up in the military anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. Really? I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Hmm. Although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. Ah. Huh. What was your lab job like? You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources huh. and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. Tuh, GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Huh. What's your personal history? Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Huh. Though I studied on Earth at Oxford. Uh, hey, you sound like... My parents were from London. Yeah, you they sound like Earth, it. But they wanted the freedom... You have that London, life, London dialect. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. Don't talk like that, Samantha. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive and counting on us. 
Quite true, Commander. Huh. And your reaction to the war? I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. <laughs> We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. Aw, thank and you, trainer. And if your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. Thanks. Carry on, Specialist. Okay. Our private terminal. And you would call our private terminal. And here are the training videos. Email. Special Ops from Hackett. Yeah, this is about that uh, multiplayer character. Reinstatement from Hackett. Commander Shepard, this letter informally acknowledges your reinstatement into the Alliance Navy per Ad Admiral David Anderson's recent verbal communication. Under Emergency War Powers Regulation 903.5, you are hereby authorized to assume command of the Normandy SR2. You are directed to begin inter interdiction operations against any and all enemies posing a threat to Earth, its colonies, and its allies. Furthermore, you are granted diplomatic authority to establish treaties with non-human races as required to support your mission. Sincerely, Admiral Hackett. Yeah. Emergency flash traffic urgent. All Alliance military personnel. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. I declared threat conditions Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in solar system Earth under Reaper attack. Okay. K9. Subject, my dog. Dear Commander Shepard, I was a contractor working on the Normandy's haptic interface when it was in dry dock. Your VI ED emailed me to let me know when I that I, I left my dog mech on board. Aww. I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now and would hate for you to go on a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She's like exploring she likes exploring, sniffing chemical trails and seventy volt outlets. Seven hundred and fifty volt outlets. Thank you and sorry for your trouble. I promise she won't be too much of a headache. Andrea Brown. Aww. That's actually a little thing I got, um, for the collector's edition. Uh, just some little mech dog just walking around the shuttle bay. It's, it doesn't really do anything. It's just kind of cute to have your own mech dog down there. And here's a piece of armor, or, or set of armor I got also, the Defender armor. And to get you some of our new N7 equipment back on Earth, arrange for the N7 Defender armor to be delivered to you from Hackett. Armor from your fans. Uh, the armor's called Reckoner Knight. This is actually an, a cross-promotion armor when EA was trying to... Um, uh, published the Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning game, and they were doing a cross promotion where if you played the demos of each of this game and Kingdoms, you would get armors or weapons for each game uh, from the, each of the different games. And uh, so I got this for playing the Rec the Kingdoms of Amalur a demo. So I got that armor set. And N7 weaponry, N7 weapons. That's another uh, thing there. So is the Valkyrie assault rifle, Argus rifle. Some of these other ones like different assault rifles here from Liara. Quarian Fleet. Huh. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Special Ops again. Welcome back gift from Edie. You will find it among the selection of casual clothing in your cabin. Okay. Wait, what was it? The dancers he... <laughs> As the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested. <laughs> ah, Joker. You have an upgrade waiting from Glyph. So let the you found... Okay, so I gotta go see Liar for this gift from him. Priority mission, Eden Prime. From Alliance Command. Commander, Cerberus attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony, but we have been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we have learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major Prothean artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the co colony and recover the artifact. Wow. Yep, so I just picked up that side, that, uh, that quest. Alright, let's go talk to Joker, since he apparently suggested to Edie to get me some dancers as a welcome back gift. <laughs> uh, Joker. Here you are, buddy! There you are! Hey, Commander! You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it's not their fault. They're doing everything they can. Yeah. Did they at least validate our parking? 
<laughs> no. Let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. <laughs> That's actually a, a, sh a shout out to, um, or no, a shout out. That's actually a reference to uh, if if you were doing a Renegade playthrough in the first game, when they called you on the uh, comm, you could actually just hang up on them. <laughs> Commander. All right, nothing else for him to say? All right. Quick save. Speaking of which, I think I might go up to... I didn't really get a chance to take a look at my cabin to see how different it might be. Let's see. Captain's cabin. Let's see. Ah, here's my aquarium. No fishies, though. Aww. <gasps> my hamster. No. <gasps> Not my space hamster. Where's Max? No. Oh, I still got my bathroom. So, my toilet still flushes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, all my models are gone. Wait a minute. Did... Garrus... He hid all my models all around the citadel, or all, not the citadel, um, all around the Normandy. Ugh. I'm also probably going to have to purchase some more from other shops on the citadel. Here's the private terminal for up here. Still got two glasses here, and this couch. Some other little things here I guess I would be tinkering with. Chair, sound system. And here's the armor locker. Let's check. Alright, so casual. Huh. Got some kind of uh, formal, formal uniform. Let's see. What else do I have? Ah, I got this. This was kind of the outfit I wore throughout the second game. Also have this. This looks kind of nice. Whoa, look at this. I like this. Got a hoodie. Actually, this was also something I got in the collector's edition. It's kind of... Yeah, this uh, zip-up sweatshirt with a hood. With N7 on it? I like that. And then what's this? Oh, look at this! Jeans and a leather jacket. Oh, that's awesome! A leather jacket, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I would go with either one of these. Either the leather jacket or the hoodie. And you know what? I like hoodies. I really do. I actually usually like to wear one, especially here in the cold weather of uh, the Bay Area. Some of you are going, what? It's like, that's not cold weather out there. Trust me, it does get cold in the Bay Area. It may not snow like in places like the Midwest or the, or the East Coast like it is now. But uh, but it does get cold. So I usually like to wear, wear sweatshirts with hoodies. So I'm going to go with that. Now, for my armor. I believe I don't really have that many pieces right now. I just have the typical N7 helmet. Yep, that's all I really have for, for helmets. For pieces, I either have the Casa. Actually, I have to have just these. Now, if you want to know what these are, what these do, this one has melee, and this one gives health. Same thing here. This gives shield regeneration speed, and this gives health. So the N7 set is just pretty much just increased health. So you can see that's all it really does. Let's see materials. Doesn't need to be shiny. Hmm, let's see if I can try and redo my uh, Iron Man colors. Although I might check out some of the other default sets here. Like, here's the Defender set. Look at this set. That's 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 some hulking armor. <laughs> and you can see it increases ammo capacity, weapon damage, shields, and health. So it's a really good armor set. The other one, this is the Reckoner Knight. This is the uh, the Kingdoms of Amalur armor set. Yep, you see? So it's kind of an armor set meant for that uh, fantasy medieval RPG that unfortunately got, uh, you know, the company got bankrupt. The one that was run by Kurt Schilling. Yeah. So this one emphasizes melee damage, though. 
plus 20 on melee damage. So if you're doing a, probably a Vanguard, that's probably a good one. And here's another uh, set of armor, courtesy of DLC, uh, Cerberus Ajax armor. This armor set, it looks like... It gives you shield boost, shield regeneration, ammo capacity, power damage, and weapon damage. So it's a very, very nice armor set. But this Shepard right now does not like Cerberus. If he was a renegade, he probably would wear this because he'd be like, yeah, I still like Cerberus. But he doesn't. So I would either go with my my um, whatever set I can make here or probably with the Defender. It was uh, ammo capacity. So that's also good for soldiers. But uh, let's see. Can I redo the colors here? Let's see. Pattern color. Let's see. Some of the other reds here. Are there other reds I can mess around with? Throw a little... Throw a little Jarvis. Throw a little hot rod red in there. <laughs> eh, that's kind of like Iron Man. That's also similar to Iron Man. Hmm. All right, and lights. Hmm. There we go. All right, so it's kind of like it's kind of similar to the armor set I made in the second game, not completely, but then again, there are many, many other pieces I can definitely find later on to give me like extra, because uh, I would probably emphasize power damage and power recharge, considering that my engineer rely will rely on that. But for now, I think what I would probably do, even though I got a whole bunch of health, I do like this. And it's uh, how it looks. I like how it um, gives some of those bonuses. Although, hmm, I don't know. Kind of indecisive on this. I'm going to cut this off and then I'll make a decision probably by the end, beginning of the next part.